this tutorial I'm going to have a look at the new multi-edge flange command in 2021. So um, it's an ordered only tool and uh, we'll go into the tool and we've got the options as usual, edge or chain. So if we go chain and pick this edge here, right mouse click to accept it and we just come up say about 50 mil. Um, what you'll notice is that it's done a um, sort of overlap. So it's taken this one to the edge and put this one inside. And uh, this one goes right to the end. But over here, um, it's um, cut short. So this one goes to the length as well. So um, if we go back and sort of reselect those edges, um, we can actually define how we want to go. So if we pick this one, followed by this one, and then the end pieces, you'll see that what we end up with is something that um, gives you the edge inside here, and this one's inside as well. So you sort of can control how that um, is built um, and I'll actually go back and change this to bend outside and um, I just want to have this on the inside so that when I come in and do the next multi-edge one um, I'm going to go through and pick on the inside edges and for this one it doesn't really matter. Um, you'll see that it sort of overlaps and comes in at a sort of uh, weird option. So we can then go back to um, specifying here and we want it to trim. And you can see here, if I zoom in and out, you can sort of get it to um, close up to a nice sort of closed finish if you want. So if I come well away so that if the size of the model has changed, it will still hold together and you'll see that we end up with a really nice closed box on that sort of scenario. Um, also you sort of may have seen this one, um, so again if we use the multi-edge uh, we can sort of pick um, edges they don't need to be sort of connected or whatever in any way um, so from here I can sort of just go in and specify um, a height on those and then do the same on these other edges and we can take them up to say 50 mil this time so you can see that we can sort of have um, options on sort of how we build that. So um, then we can take sorry, got the wrong edge. Let's go back. As you saw, um, if you choose an outside edge, it goes in the opposite direction. So we can again bring that right in, use a gap and specify a gap that will come in here. Um, don't necessarily need to go all the way in, but we can um, do that. And then likewise, we could do the same with the um, higher ones as well. So that gap gives us a nice sort of um, finish and we could leave a nice um, hole in the middle here as well. So, um, you know, you've got a lot of nice um, features, um, especially with this one, um, trying to get this and the old style of creating flanges or contour flanges. Contour flanges, um, if you made it the full width here, it wouldn't work because it's narrower here. Um, so it sort of gives you a much quicker way of being able to build this um, type of model.